In a seven-year period of time, the state attorney general alleges that the most powerful man in the Michigan House at that time, Speaker Lee Chatfield, took in some $7 million in political contributions, all legal, going into funds, however, that by law did not have to be reported to anyone. Attorney General Dana Nessel accuses Mr. Chatfield of taking those dollars and converting them for his own personal use for lavish trips to Las Vegas to Orlando, the Bahamas, and she claims he paid off $132,000 in credit card debts that not only benefited him, but those around him. It is not an exaggeration to say that his employees, friends, and family all benefited from the extravagant misspending of these funds. The attorney general says he's accused of 13 counts of wrongdoing and if convicted on the most severe charges, he could do 20 years behind bars. To date, our investigation has uncovered evidence that Lee Chatfield used various different schemes to embezzle, steal, and convert both private and public monies to fund a lavish lifestyle that a state salary could not possibly afford. Beyond those lavish spending charges from the state, the Attorney General was asked if she had proof that the Speaker did anything legislatively for those persons who gave him the money. She could not confirm that possible linkage. I have not completed the investigation, so I can't answer that question. The Attorney General complains about a culture under the dome that allows secret money to flow freely into the hands of politicians without any watchdogging of the process. To change Lansing's culture for one of secret donors and corruption requires and demands legislative solutions. Legislation to force the disclosure of the very funds that Mr. Chatfield allegedly misspent is pending. If convicted, however, Mr. Chatfield would join former House Republican Speaker Rick Johnson, who's doing hard time for taking bribes from those in the cannabis industry. The Attorney General says, the attorney for Mr. Chatfield says, quote, we are prepared to fight them every step of the way, end quote. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.